Hi everybody, Heidi here, the Oxy Crafter. Hope you're well. Hope you're not too disappointed with all the bad weather we're getting. Oh, we definitely are here anyway. Um, yeah, it's. I've actually got the doggy blankets out on the line and it's chucking it down. Um, phew, that's bells. <coughs> I've not got no water or wipes up here. So I'm actually using my stamp cleaner. That's bad on your throat, is that? Right, today we're going to... Um, I'm staying simple again. And I'm using my stencils again. But it's a little bit different. I'm trying to find different ways to use my stencils and things. You know, to get the most out of everything. So that's what we're going to do. While I'm setting this up, if you guys would like to um, share, I don't know if you can share while it's actually recording, but if you can, uh, while it's playing, sorry, if you can share and like the video, I would be so grateful. It means a lot to me. Um, and just another reminder that we have um, a Facebook group um, Heidi the Oxcrafter. Crafter, if you want to pop over there, it's literally anything and everything goes. So, whatever's your favourite thing to do, we like to see it. And maybe she should open the windows using that, that's bad. That might be why I stopped using it. Oh, <laughs> Right, so we're starting, I'm using my stamping wheel for the most of this. These are amazing, they're expensive but they're amazing. I'd be lost without it. So, I want this to stay off the paper as much as, let's move this a little bit further. It's a quick technique and I'll, I'm not sure if it has a name. I don't know. It's not something you see getting done often. So I don't want it. I don't particularly want it more than halfway. So I'm gonna and halfway between top and top and bottom. That'll do. So these are all everything I'm using today happens to be Gina K. And I can't remember what this stencil's called. Wait a minute. Is it out of that one? That's the snow. Right. No, no doubt I'll come across it while we're doing it. So, I'm also going to use, I'm just going to use the pink. That might be a too dark pink. And I'm just going to use what's on my brush if there's enough there. So I'm literally just um, inking up the stencil, the bit that's on the paper. Nice and easy. I'm going to do some Christmas tags this weekend, I think. So that was something a little different. I'm just going to go a little darker in the middle. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to pull that off. These, the backing of this is really sticky and it's actually like an acrylic stamp. So you just clean it exactly the same way. Right, I don't know if there is a set place for this, but this is where I've been putting mine. So this is my leaf. I'm just, again, I'm just using the green that's on the brush, if I can get away with it. It's very delicate and I, I made it all bends earlier on, so I'm trying to be a bit more careful with it. That's all right. And this one down here somewhere. That looks alright to me. Try not to go on my paper. I've done a few of these. It was my, my daughter says um I had to start doing some birthday cards because it's some I don't really have anymore. The ones I make with um all the Lavinia stuff, I send out to you guys so um, this was, where's my thing on? 
this was to make some so you know so I had some spares and things but they'll still go out to you guys I'm just grabbing the stamp right for this one those are my words I'm going to use so this is the heartfelt bouquet and I'm going to use this big floral stamp here I don't know why I put it away because I knew why we were going to use it. I've got loads of little piles out because I'm using different ones for different ones. So, all I'm going to do, it just so happened because I practiced this one, it just so happens that it actually fit into the shape of the stencil, which was not planned, honestly. So, I was quite pleased with that. So, it's just going to go there. And I'm going to stamp it up in this fan clay nocturne. Give it a couple of stamps. Here comes that bad rain again. You'll know that be able to hear it on my roof. You can hear everything on the roof of this room. Put little baby in bed next door. I've got Rosie down here on the floor in Lexi's bed, and Lexi's in bed with Bebe. Definitely needs another ink cup, does that? But it's nice to have a little bit of peace and quiet, honestly. We picked our new car up yesterday, so that's all over and done with. Thank goodness. You set a budget to buy something, don't you? And then this wants doing and then this. And then your husband says, can we have this and can we have that? And it's like, wow. Didn't want to spend that. Not on a car. Is that actually... Wait a minute. That's not stamped there. Let's give it a deeper push. No, it has. There, that's lovely. I love that. I'm going to spray this <laughs> horrible stuff again. I mean, it's horrible stuff, but it brings it up really quick, doesn't it? So I'll leave that there a minute. So I'm going to put a sentiment on this, and I'll do it while the um, while it's in the stamping wheel. Where have I just put that? And I'm going to put birthday wishes and that's coming out of the pretty pose I'm not sure if this was one of the incentives I think yeah it was it's one that I had sent to me from a lovely lady called Sandy in America she got two that was so sweet of her I kept my little thing on back. Right, let's get this on first. It's harder for me to see how straight it is when I'm filming. So, pick that up. I've just had my antistatic powder in my hand. I am rubbish. I found it. It's all busted. Sorry. Right, so that's going to be stamped up in my Versafine, and we're going to do it in gold embossing. And I'm going to do that straight away. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Because I can actually see that, because that must have been mucky. 
I'm going to put the birthday straight on top. Come on, stop sticking to me. Can't save it straight. I don't know if it's straight, but I'm going with that. Let's take this one off. Please be straight. Did that even take? Yeah, it did. Did it? Took enough. Well, I won't take that. Well, it doesn't really matter now. I ignore me, I'm talking to myself. So I'm going to do this one in gold. Hopefully that birthday stamp's okay. Oh, yes. That looks all right to me. A bit on the S. That looks fine to me. Huh? I'm guessing because this feels really flimsy that I picked up the eighty pounds Nina paper. Doesn't matter which one I use because it's going on a base, obviously. So. Right, I'm just going to put that one to the side a minute because we're going to do that again in a different colour. With a different flower, <coughs> excuse me. Right, let me just put these in here. So I don't lose them, because you know me. I have to you, ask you guys to help me find my stamp, see what I did with it on here. Right, so we're going to use the same stencil. Yeah, it is £80. I'm not going to bother cleaning it up because I'm doing it in purple anyway. Same again, same gap at top, about halfway. There's a bigger gap there, but I'm going to be cutting a tiny bit off anyway, so I'll just cut it from that side. So, using my, shall I do pink and purple? I'll do a bit of pink, in, uh, purple in the middle. Did that move? That can't move. That was strange. Hmm, that's different. I like it when you don't do what you planned on doing. Blend it out. Oh, that's pretty. Same again with the leaves. Like I say, I don't know where they're supposed to go. I'm just... I don't think it were there anyway. That looks a bit better. None of them are looking right now. Is that it? That looks better, doesn't it? A bit further out than others, but it looks all right. and quick isn't it I do love a stencil I mean you don't even have to do what else with that just put your sentiment on I just like the effect of putting some across the top of it just makes it totally different again doesn't it? it's not what you usually see right and then the next stamp I'm putting on 
is from Flowers for You. Again, like I said, it's all Gina K. Um, which way shall I put it? Come up there. That fits in there a bit again, doesn't it? I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to stamp it up exactly the same. Actually, I think I'll put a sentiment in now as well. What should we put in? What did I put in? Let's see, that's too big in there. Hello, my friend. Shall we put that in? I'm going to put that in. I'm just. I'm going to put it in. in um, I'm just going to stamp it in black. I like that. There's my friend. Sweet friend. Of oh, my friend. Sweet friend, why not? Yeah, I'll do that one once I've stamped this. Let's pick that back up. All right, no, wait a minute. Is that level? It's not level, is it? Doing exactly the same. This is my Scooby tool because my son made it. Oh, that definitely needs a. Uh, why didn't it take there? Is that because that one's that might be a thicker stamp and it stopped that from stamping? Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it. But I like that, so I'll take that off and try it again. Yeah, oh, it must have been a different thickness. Right. So I'll give it another go over. And then we'll just do the sweet friend. I'm still waiting for my um, so-called mojo to come back from my order. I mean, this is um, a pretty new one to me. Or one that I don't do often enough, should I say. So that was quite nice to do it again. But I want, I'm waiting for my mojo to come back to do a, a big scene of something. But I do like making a quick card. That's lovely, isn't it? Can't just be me that thinks so. Here we go with the smelly stuff. I'll put that back on the clean it. It'd have been easy to go downstairs and just get some more <coughs> gosh. Um some more wipes or some water. <coughs> wow. It's a big old stamp, is that? I mean, it doesn't even have to be flowers, does it? It could be silhouette animals. It could be 
Oh, it could just be out. I'm looking at doing some um, cutie tags. I want to do some. I miss doing sweet little things. Right, come on. Stop sticking. That looks all right to me. Give that a quick stamp. So we'll take that one off. How pretty of them. That's so... Oh, I just love it. What a lovely technique. Before we make them into cards, we're going to do another quick. That's I'm not using that stencil now. Now I'm going to. I've only done this one way, but I want to try something else. So same again. I don't want it all the way on. This is the Stella Snowflake. Oh, that other one will tell me. Can you want it? Zinnia. Z I double N I A. Will that bit name it flower? I'm not I'm not that into flowers, I don't do flowers. Right. I'm gonna go about there. Right, I'm gonna use the colours you can see that I've already used them here. And it's literally again. I'm just using what's on my brush. Mm. Bit of left handed here because I went onto my card last time. Mm, These are lovely together for winter colours. All right. I'll keep it there because I'm going to use the same colours for the next thing that I want to try. And um, this time we're using the Gina K. This is the tapestry. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on here. Holiday tapestry. Oh, that's it. That way around, Ida. Isn't that stunning? I've used this so many times. I mean, if you watch my other videos, I've mentioned that I'm get, having a clear out, getting rid of a load of stuff. But there's certain ones you'll never, ever part with. Without a doubt. So this one, I'm just going to stamp black over this snowflake. That's all right, right. And then the next one, I oh, should I do it on this one? I don't know how clean that is. Let's give it a clean because I want to do one in silver emboss. We'll do the embossing first. <clears throat> like I say, I haven't tried it, it might just spoil it. I don't know. Oh yeah, it would have shown a lot of that, wouldn't it? It's only mucky because I've just used it. Right, let's give that a go. Oh, 
hope it looks all right. It sounds all right in my head. the stuff on so I'll make a difference though right please work well that's stamped for sure because I can see still see some of the muck muck the black ink Mind you, when I stamped it in black, it takes a lot out, so it's, silver's only going to do the same, isn't it? It's just like my sentiment's going to be silver, and I just thought it might look a bit better. Oh dear, it didn't take right well. Probably because I should have dried it off better. Oh, that's a shame. See if we can get a bit more coverage. No, that hasn't taken very well, and I've moved it now as well. Um, tell you what, I'll do it anyway, and then I'll do a quick another one. But at least I know what it's going to look like anyway. Oh, what a shame. But I do like the idea. Right, that's all we're going to get out of that one. But I don't know if you can see it. I do like the idea. I'm not even going to waste that. I think that looks all right. But what I am going to do... Give me a piece of card. Gonna right quickly do another one. I was gonna do another one anyway, but different colour. Let's do that. Do it right quick. I'll do. That'll do. Right, let's try it again. Let's go. Is that the way I went? I think it is, isn't it? What I'll do is I'll put the sentiment on at the same time because that's going silver. Oh, that didn't want to stick. Right, I wonder if where's my other pad? I just see if this one takes a bit better. Let's 
tribe. Oh, I didn't see. I forgot to use my powder. Never mind. I'm still giving it a go. Fingers crossed. No, oh, that's taking it. Now you can tell that I haven't used my powder. Because I just think it up and all, haven't I? Silly girl. What time is it? I won't do the black one. We'll make these in the cards because I've already done the black one, so I'll just show it you anyway. Stamp very well on that, did it? Right, we're going with it. Shame about the bottom of the writing. I mean, you can still see it, it's just not as deep as the rest of it. Is that all taken? Give that a go, I'll just stamp. Um, and do you know what? It looks lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely over that snowflake. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> it's good to see the holiday tapestry back out again. It was probably one of my first Gina K ones that I bought. And now we've got Uggins. She does amazing things. Right. Just give that a quick wipe before I move it to the side. I've got it upside down. Not from clean if I've got it upside down, will it? So rough. There we go. Right, 
Right, so these are five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm taking it down to, because I'm not very good with measurements, I'm taking it down two notches. So it won't actually go to five and a quarter, it goes in middle of five and a quarter and five and a half. So if that helps anybody, or you just do your own thing. Same there, just over four. Um, I'm going to take it from this side. Just like roses and wait now. Same with these. Took it from the top. Oh no, I did that one as well, didn't I? What shall I do with that? Do you know what? I'll keep it and I'll do it on the other side. It's not wasted. So we're just going to be three today. Hello, healthy dog. That was a long sleep. <laughs> Mommy's nearly finished. Just hang in there, kid. I went to the vets the other day to see about getting um, see about getting Rosie done before she goes into season. Yeah, they won't entertain it. Not until she's had her first season. And I never had to do that with Lexi, so I was a bit disappointed actually. So I'm turning these over and I'm putting this is just cheap foam. Like I said before, I'm trying to use up my stuff and I'm not wasting it because I've obviously paid for it at some point. And I think, I mean, you could stick this, if you if you were sending it through post on a big journey, personally, I probably wouldn't put foam on. You could put um, three or four pieces of card behind it to make it stand up. But I've sent cards all over the world now. And some of them, when they've got there, even with foam on back, they've been squashed. So that was a lesson learned. It's so nice to be back in my room talking to myself. <laughs> the dog looks at me like I've gone nuts. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I should have done one of those, use what I did earlier. She's going to start climbing on her legs in a minute. Can you hear that little bit of butter? Bless her. I'll probably just finish this in time for baby Eden waking up. So that'll have been good timing. Then it's take the dogs out. Then it's go and pick Toby up. And it's tea time. Then Eden goes home. And Toby goes home. And then I normally fall asleep. <laughs> it's been a long day. Right, this is my worst bit. I wanted to do them on top folding cards, but I don't have actually have any cut at the moment, so. I'm going with these. Oh no, where's me? I knew I'd drop some on the floor, but I didn't know what it was. Where's my pokey tool? Where are you? Oh, well, when I dropped it, I don't know where it went. I don't know where it is. 
Try and do it with my fingers. Oops, that's my belly rumbling. Oh, come on, where's my pocket tool? No, don't know. Well, that's a bit annoying. Luckily this comes off not too bad. That's one. This is the bit that I'm absolutely rubbish at because once this is down it cannot be moved. Hopefully that's... No, that's not right. Come on. Can't see when I'm doing it. Straight above. It'll be fine. That's another reason why I cut a little bit off. Because when I can't get it 100% level, it doesn't look too bad when you've cut a bit off. See, there's always method in the madness. Can't get over the weather we've had's like it's been like being abroad. I know it's absolutely building it down. It's wetting me new car. I'll finish these and I'll find my poker tool straight away, won't I? Make sure it's open in the right way. See, I caught a bit of the blue there. Let's have a look. Oops, I've already touched it down and all. That is not level in the slightest. But we're going with it. That's alright. Some people won't notice. Last one. miles away then I drifted off back on all of you see will not be long don't know what make I'm going to be working on next but I've enjoyed the change of makes you forget what you've got when you don't use them all So, I love that. Let's grab my bling. So that's my tub of, this is one that I've got full of loose ones, but I thought just for ease, for quickness, I use these and some of my that goes nice with the silver so we'll put them down that's what i need my pokey tool for where is he right i'll try and grab another one use this one gosh I haven't used this in a long time well so I'm going for this one didn't I yeah so 
So I think we'll go. What should we do? We'll go one down here. Yeah. One down here. And go a bigger one. Um, shall I go bigger again? I like that and I'm just going to leave that as it is. That's so plain and simple. Right, what we're using on here. Maybe some green, that'd be nice. Fill some green. I think that's enough. And this one. I think, what's this? That pink. Has that pink gone with it? Let's go with this pink. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to overdo it. We'll do that the way. And we're done. So, these are the three we've just done. It's your Christmas one. So, if you didn't like it in the silver, I think that's lovely. But if you didn't like it in the silver... I did it in the black, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's a sparkle. I sprayed them all with, well, the Christmas ones with um, Shea Shimmer Craft Spray Sparkle. So they've got a lovely little, you know, a right soft sparkle to it. So there's your silver and your black. And then... Oh, I did put sparkle on that one as well. Oh, you can see it's a lovely sparkle. So that's that flower. And that's that flower. Different sequins. There you go. What do you think? A different technique. I love it. I, I just love the simplicity of it. And the still plain and simple at the end of it. Right, guys. I'm off to give my head a wobble and find my um, pokey tool. Right, guys, I'll catch you later. Happy crafting. Bye.